Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome again to Explosion 360 um, YouTube channel. Um, I'm back at it again. Um, so we can go ahead and move on to the next section. Um, the last um, session we did, we taught you how to create the event on TouchFake if you are using TouchFake. So now I'm about to show you how to activate the event so once again don't forget to subscribe follow um turn on your notification that way you can always up to date um whenever we post something on our channel so that's something we do just to help you better yourself so that way whenever you go to um to an event wherever you have an event coming up you don't have to stress yourself so i'll make sure you have all the tools all the things that's necessary for you to know it's right here so once again my name is Wally I'll be showing you a little bit more on how to activate the event after you create it so let's do a quick little recap from um, from last night so we're going to touch it quick we're going to Morgan we're going to the dashboard we're going to event that's the event we did last night it's called um, Wally party 11.7 so that's the event right here we already upload the overlay so let's say you already create the event let me zoom for you a little bit all right let's say you already create the event now you have to go back to edit something to make sure so you see that's the last event we we created from the last training we had um so now i'm about to go back make a quick little adjustment before i move on to the next section so let's do a little quick recap so what you do you click on setting you see right here you click on setting the first folder the first little option here say edit event you click on it it take you right here now let's say for whatever reason i want to rename the party i can go ahead and rename it to whatever i like but since we're not going to remain, uh, rename it, I'm just going to leave it like it is. So you guys remember all those. So if you need to know how to get to this, how to set this up, so just go ahead and watch the first video that say how to set up event, and then that will help you out right here. So I think last night, the only thing we messed up here, I mean, not really messed up, but we forgot. Um, I know some people use the WhatsApp. You can go ahead and back and select WhatsApp, okay? And also, I already taught you guys everything here um, last night so you can always go back and, and watch it over all right but I think one of the questions somebody asked today was um, how to use uh, uh, if, if she's he or she using the iPhone and how to do the TV section if you're using the TV um, and you use an iPhone this part right here is very important for you all you have to do uh, make sure you select um, all everything here and then where it says um, there's a drop down right here um say slideshow for people with um gopro but if you use an iphone um it, it will work better if you do external session and you make sure everything check okay so the only little adjustment we did here we added whatsapp into the sharing um part that's one way you can share all right let's move on quick so let's submit so we make that little change you submit now when you submit remember like i said always go to um go go to designer designer that's where you add your overlay so i'm about to show you quick um how to add an overlay so i just created one today um from the training from the last training i remember i told you before you add your overlay first thing you have to do you have to go to upload um i'm sorry template template you go to template first all right let me zoom in again let me see oh it's already zoom all right you go to um templates first um you click down you select um over um slow mo overlay it's already selected me personally i use overlay two for the most you select the overlay and then again whatever um overlay you design make sure it match the template now after you select your overlay now you go to um upload to upload the to upload the um, overlay that you created let's say you created from a third party you go you go to custom overlay look for it now when you put your mouse on custom overlay as you can see right here um it, it give you a little cheat sheet here that show you all everything like video slow-mo template one the dimension template two the dimension template three and so forth all right so now you click on custom 
and then I'm going to look for it. Now make sure your overlay is transparent, right? So I designed this today. So let's see if it's transparent. I upload it and then I click it and add it right here. So now whenever you can see this um, invisible man right in the middle of the screen after you add your template, so you are safe. So that's mean um, you are safe whenever you do your slow-mo video, um, you will be able to see it, all right? So as you see, I designed this logo overlay nice and simple. I put a, a red strip, I put a, a, a circle with white and red in the middle, and then I have my logo right on top. You know, that's just to bring myself out, all right? Perfect, so when you've done that, always make sure you at the right event right here in that corner, right here, right here. I hope you can see where my mouse is moving right here. All right, so you go ahead and make sure I'm at the right event at template. All right, so you click on it, you see the color change, it turned green, perfect, now you're done. Now when you're done, you go back to your events again, there's a way to make sure your overlay is attached. Okay, if there's a way to make sure your overlay is attached. So what you do, you go right here where it say overlay, we see that's the event, Wally Party. All right, you go to your overlay, you click on it. Now, whatever um, overlay I added, it should show like this. Now you are safe, all right? So there's something I meant to show you guys last night and I forgot, um, I'm sorry, from the last training. So you see gallery, like I said, that's where you get the public URL to show with your client after you're done with the event. All right, they can keep that forever, as long as the, the software is, exists, as long as touch because it exists, they can always get access and they don't need no username or password to get to it, all right? So you click on gallery, as you can see right now, there's nothing here, it show no image found. Now, I don't even have a public URL because there's no, the public URL, URL generate only when you have an event, okay? Um, the whenever you have something that's already recorded. So let me show you from one of my previous event. Now let's say if I go to um, this one here, that's one of my event that's already completed. All right, so I'm going to click on the gallery. Now you're gonna see everything pop up here. You see all the videos pop up here. I can even play it if I want to, but not right now, we don't have that much time. You see public URL, all right, right here. You see public URL right here. You click on public URL. So now what you can do, you can go ahead and, um, you see everything load right here. Um, you can go ahead and click right here on the on the browser, on the browser. Uh, hopefully everybody know what a browser mean. All right, so browser is where you type the, 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 the site, you know, for you to search, all right? So you see right here, right on top here, I click on browser. All right, you see the link, I copy it. I'm using the Apple, I use my two finger to just copy the link. Now I can go ahead and open my email and email that link to my client. Now my client will be able to see everything. All right, so we can do a little test to show you what I mean. So let me go ahead and browser quick, open a new tab. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to click enter, look. That's everything here from that person even without me logging or code or anything like that. So the person can pull it up on the computer or whatever. <laughs> uh, so no, we don't need no sound. 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 All right. So that's pretty much how you do it. All right. Perfect. All right. Cool. So now let's let's go back to where we were, right? So I show you how to go back to your gallery to get your public URL. That's how you do it, okay? Perfect. So now let's go back to events. All right, so let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. All right, let's go back to my account. All right, uh, for whatever reason, it locked me out. All right, so perfect. So let's go back to event. Let's go back to business, right? So now my event is ready, party, uh, Wally party, it's ready. All right, everything here is ready. Let me zoom in, let me zoom in, zoom, zoom. All right, perfect, right here. So now I'm ready, I already designed it, everything, my overlay is there and everything. So now I'm ready to activate the event. Now when you're ready to activate the event, you see right here, it says QR code, right here, QR code. You click on QR code, right? You click on QR code, it should open for you like this. What I like to do, I like to take a, 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 a third device, I take a picture of it just in case, just in case if my computer start acting up, 
so you know I am safe so I just took a picture of it all right so you see I have another device right here so I took a picture of it perfect so now we are ready to activate um the event so I'm going to use my cell phone so let me go ahead and link my phone with the screen so you can see what I'm talking about all right so let me go ahead and do a quick little switch right here so we we doing a lot of switching all right so let's do this bear with me bear with me so we're getting everything done for you all right so DJ Wally iPhone all right perfect all right so now here's my phone screen right so here's my phone screen so I'm going straight to touch big let me search for it make life easy boom all right so that's the app let's go back so when you first pull up your your app for your event that's the screen you have now with 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 touch pick there's some a lot of beautiful things here you can do um with the app i like how they very emphasize and make things a lot easier for us all right so once again i give touch pick a lot of credit for doing a good job um with the software so let me go ahead and pull this on the side let me minimize this so I can have everything here for you in one page. All right, so right here, perfect. So I'm doing a lot of work here. I'm only one man, bear with me. All right, so you see right here, um, let me go ahead and put this on this side instead and move this over here. All right, all right, perfect. Oops, what am I doing wrong in here, Lord? What am I doing wrong in here? Okay, perfect. All right, so that's my barcode, and then that's my phone right here. Everything side by side. Hopefully, everybody can see. Perfect. All right, so let's, let's move on. All right, so now my barcode is ready, and then my event is ready to activate. Now, let's say you're not ready, ready, ready to activate the event yet. What you can, that's for people who's using phone, okay? Let's say if you're using phone, all right? Let's say you're using iPhone 11 and up to record your event. That's the one we're doing right now. Um, the next one will be um, how to use the GoPro, GoPro 7, 8, 9, or 10, all right? Perfect. So now let's go to activate with, with, with um, hopefully you guys can see my screen. So let me try to see if I can make this a little bit bigger here, all right? So you see right here, I'm showing you my screen right here, all right? So let me, all right, so with, with, with the software now, you have those three options. Test sharing station and activate. Let's say you're not ready to activate the event yet. You can just click on test and then it will tell you whatever you click understood. And then now it tell you, you see, show QR code activate. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scan it on the screen. Perfect. Now when it turn green like this. All right, um, tips. Um, whenever you activating your event, make sure the device you activating the event is connected either to Wi-Fi or it has um, internet only. If you don't have internet only, you will not be able to activate that um, that event. Okay, very important. All right. So just in case, if you scan your event, it doesn't work. So it probably give you error message because you do not have um, internet on your phone. So it will give you an error message. So I'm waiting on. Uh, I'm doing a little test. I'm just testing it. I'm not really activating the event. I'm just doing a quick test. All right. So usually it doesn't take that long. Perfect. But anyway, there you go. You click understood. You see now remember where I showed you on the from the last training. I show you there's a section you can change the color of the button. Right. So you can change the color of the button. That's why you see all mine is red. If you want to know what I mean, go back um, and watch the first video on how to set up event using TouchPick. It will tell you what I mean by um, change the color of the of the button. That's why you see mine is all red. OK, now um, now I'm just doing the test. As you can see on my screen, I see you have a exit test event setting, refresh event camera, IQ and so forth and online. All right, so now let's say I'm ready to test this event. I'm just going to test it. I just press start. You see my countdown. Remember in the setting where it says countdown. So after the, it's recording, right? So you just record, you record, you record, you cause So now I don't have a spinner, so you're not going to see, you know, a good um, boomerang and everything, right? Now you see the screen is telling you everything is doing step by step. The software telling you everything is doing. All right. Let's wait on it, wait on it, wait on it. You see, it's applying the overlay. It's doing everything right now. Let's 
start applying a little overlay. Waiting on it, you see, adding the audio. Waiting on it. I won't let the audio play because I don't want YouTube to block it. You see, it says demo, it says, um, and then it show you all your um your little thing. So that's me. That's that's a good sign. That's mean my event is ready. My demo that you see it should demo because I'm in test mode. All right. So let's click next. So now we know everything is there. So let me get out of it. So now I'm ready to activate the event for real. But before we do that, before you activate event, there's a few settings that's very important to do when you use an iPhone. First thing you do, you go to your setting. Okay. You go to your setting. You click on um, general. You click on general. After you do that, you go to airdrop. You go to airdrop. When you go to airdrop, make sure it says everyone, just in case. Because if you put contact only, so you don't have time to sit here and save everybody on your phone before you can airdrop. You you click on everyone. Very important. You click on everyone. The next thing you do that's very important for you to do. Of course, always make sure your Wi-Fi is on, your Bluetooth is on, just in case. And also, the next thing you want to do for those who's using iPhone, you go to Display and Brightness. And then where it says Auto Lock, uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, mine is gray out. But Auto Lock, where it says 30 seconds, you click on it, and then you select Never. Okay, you select Never. Always make sure you do those two things before you you start using touch because if not it's gonna keep going to sleep and you don't want that all right so now let's go back to touch pick we're going to activate the event for good now you click on activate um uh, activate event and you click on activate you see now we're going for good and now i'm going to back to look for my um qr code that's already here and i'm going to scan it all right perfect now you see how the screen kind of flash green because i have internet on my phone if i didn't have no internet it will give me an error message always make sure you connect to some type of internet before you can activate your event if not it will not work it will tell you the qr code is not being recognized or, or something like that all right so i'm waiting on the event to add all the settings you know it's doing everything so that's when everything i already created on the computer that's what it's doing right now it's adding everything for me all right so let's give it a moment and if you're using external tv if you activate this for the first time it will take a little bit longer because it has to download um a few things for the um for the to me with your tv it has to download a few add-ons Reading, reading, check and setting. Usually it doesn't take that long, but I don't know why. Okay, there you go. Now you see, everything is right here. It's showing on the screen. It's even show my um my overlay right here on the screen because I'm using iPhone. All right. So let's do a let's a few things you need to check when you in that section. All right. A few things that you have to check. All right. So let's do this quick. You click right here on the top, on the top um left. You see right here, it, it tell you the event number because whenever you create an event, it's assigned you a number, okay? It's assigned you a number. And setting, refresh, uh, refresh event, you use that. Let's say if you go on the computer, you make a change and then you can come back here and click refresh event to, for that um, whatever adjustment you make can kick in. Camera, very good. And we're going to get to it. Close event. The same way you activate your event, you, um, you, you close it the same way. All right. Now you see where it say online. You see that little green, green button right there, green um light right there. That's mean my phone is online. If I had no no signal on my phone, it will it will not show green. I can show you a sample. I'm going to put my phone on airplane mode quick. So now everything is disconnected. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to it. Um, I think it still connect me to the Wi-Fi. I will have to turn Wi-Fi off instead. Let me turn Wi-Fi off instead. I um, mean, in my phone. Have, you see how right now it just turned red for a second because I was disconnected to the Wi-Fi. Okay. So now my cellular data kick in. Now that's another way as you doing the event to see if you're online. If your phone don't have no internet, there's certain things you won't be able to do as far as sharing. Okay. So let's go back to it again. Now I'm going to turn on my Wi-Fi on. Since I'm using the phone, if I have Wi-Fi, it will work. Now, if I'm using the phone, like let's say if I was using a GoPro, but I'm using my phone as a trigger, 
So the Wi-Fi will not work unless I have um, um, cellular data, unless I have data on my on my plane for it to still work. Okay, perfect. So now let's go to setting. Very important. Before you start your event, you see this section right here. It's called um, session. Now you see live view BG. Live view BG, that's, um, I usually keep that on. If I'm using the phone, that's how you see the little screen that's showing in the middle of the screen right here because of the live view BG right here, right? Like right here. You see, I'm looking at uh, like my camera already right here. Perfect. All right, so let's go back to it again. Setting, very important. You go to um, live view BG always on. Countdown, whatever you set from your computer, it's at four. You can always change that to something higher. Um, total burst photos. Um, I usually don't care for that part. And you see where it says compress. I like to use the highest, highest quality, which is UHQ. Some people use HQ. I don't suggest you use MQ because you might get a lot of, um, this might look very blurry. Okay, UHQ. All right. So if you want, you can just take a screenshot of this and that will, that, that will be your lifesaver. You can keep it permanent forever. All right. So, um, slow mo record time. That's how you determine for how long your um, your recording will be. All right. Me, I like to keep mine at six, so that give me a good thirty second or close to thirty second. QR security. Don't ever check that. That's just like the same setting on the computer. All right. That's pretty much everything you did on the computer. That's just come here. But you just wanna double check, make sure it's good. Um, FaceTime props. All right. Usually I turn that off. Uh, mine is, is disabled right now. Screen flash. If you're using TV, it's good to keep screen flash on to give you that little animation. Um, stabilization. Make sure you keep it on. So just in case if the arm of your spanner is moving, so that way um, your video don't look funny. Uh, the, the phone kind of smart to stabilize your image for you. Remove BG. Don't worry about that. Bluetooth, always on connect. Trigger box, uh, I mean, whatever. The software already set that up for you. You don't have to mess with that. Um, quick stop on trigger mode. You don't have to worry about those, all right? So you can leave everything else the, the way it is, all right? The only th thing, sometimes you might come here, make some some adjustment on the sec session section is countdown if you need more time and also the compress, which is, it's always for me at UHQ. And then um, slow mo record time, you can always play with that. And the beep sound, I like to keep that on. All right. Um, so you can take a screenshot of this and save it for yourself. That way, that will be your default setting. Next one, you go to printer. Since we're not doing any printing, you leave it at none. You keep going. Camera, very important. If you're using phone, so always I would suggest you use the back camera. You see, it's select back, all right? It's on back. And then um, also there's auto exposure, auto fix exposure. I believe I like to do the auto exposure, which is the first one. And auto focus, always continuous and focus. Slow mo speed. You can always play around with that. But I like to do 19 by 20 by 1080 by 120 FP, FPS. Some people use the 60 FPS. Okay. So let's leave it as um, 1080, 120. Camera, camera type. Um, sometimes you know, it depends on your phone. You might be able to sleep to see ultra ride. I don't know why it's not showing for me today. Usually it show that, but I don't know for some reason. Oh, I think this phone is not an iPhone 11. I think that's probably why, because I usually use another phone, but I'm using it right now. All right. So usually right here, you have another option that say ultra ride It's best to select that one. It gives you a better angle. OK, and the exposure 0, 0.0 on boomerang is one point and a half second. I usually don't mess with that, but you can always play around with it to see if it move faster or slower or whichever one you want. But I usually leave my at one at one and a half second. All right. Perfect. When you're done. Um, since you're not using GoPro for right now, you don't worry about the GoPro section. That's the only adjustment you make here. Auto exposure, continue focus, slow mo speed, camera type. Always select the one that says ultra wide if you have that option. Ultra wide, okay. And then boomerang. Um, I usually leave it at um half a second. All right, perfect. Next, next video effect. This section right here. That's a very good session section let me see if i can oh there you go i got better you know better view right here all right this section right here so let me go back so you can see the other one since my, since my lightning wasn't that great 
I just changed that. I just fixed that. All right. All right. You see right here, um, printer, we don't use printer right here. You can screenshot this and keep it as default for yourself. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back to where we were. Okay. Video effect. All right. So that's pretty much all the extra fancy thing you see people be doing. There's certain effect you see going on on the screen as far as like um, certain um, uh, the hyper zoom, the Snapchat. And then that's where you do everything. You click on add effect and then you scroll down and then you can always play with them to see which one. Some of them even let you do halfway. Like the hyper zoom, like let's say you don't want it throughout the whole video. You select it, you click done, and then you go back, you click on it again. You can move this little line right here to wherever you want. I mean, I mean halfway or all the way. Yeah, but a lot of people like to do it towards the end. And then you just um select that and you and you leave it like that halfway. So you don't want to do it throughout the, the whole video. Okay, and then um, after that, you have the audio. The reason why you see audio right here, because we already had the audio from the beginning. All right, let's say if you have an MP4, that's the only thing that's going to work here. Push through. Push through is where you add your, your logo animation, but it has to be something animated. All right, it doesn't take picture. All right, so let's say here, let me go ahead and look for my logo. For my logo, where's my favorite folder? I have something here already. Choose, all right? That's going to show at the end of each video. Whenever you see that little extra thing at the end of the person video with the person logo, Instagram, phone number, and so forth, all that nice stuff, that's where you add it, push through, okay? I think that's something you have to do for every event, okay? For every even, not every time you're recording, but let's say you're doing an event tomorrow, you have to go back and add that push draw again for that event to have it. All right. And then the next tab is TV session. For those that are using TV session, all right, TV, that's using TV for your animation. You need this one right here. You see TV session, you have to check it, live view. Um, if you need the slideshow, or now they have the option for slideshow always. If you select that one, you don't have to select slideshow. And then um, slideshow time, if, for how long you want it to be seen, like five seconds, seven seconds, or you can always play with that number. Photo um, carousel, you need that one. That's how you get the barcode on the bottom of the screen. Company logo, it show your company logo. you branding yourself. Thank you screen. I don't like to keep the camp thank you screen because it, it, it takes time. That's like another time you have to wait for before you get ready for the next session. So like, again, remember what I said before, always try your best to keep everything short, okay? You see TV session, live view, slideshow always, the whatever amount of time you need for the slideshow, if you need the slideshow, or if you don't need the slideshow, you just unselect it if you don't like the slideshow, okay? Photo Corsa, that's how you get the barcode on the bottom, um, company logo, animation. And then the next section is trigger. I don't use that one, so just pass it. I don't use trigger, all right? Next, time out, okay? We already set that up from the beginning, right? From the beginning, we set that up already. Uh, I'm gonna go back and change the color of the buttons because you see, I think that's why you guys can't see it, all right? So um, right here, that's how you get sharing time. I like to keep mine at five, but if you wanna do eight um, survey, I always put zero. I don't have time for this, all right? So the, those are like, you know, time that you, you sitting here and waste, all right? So as you can see here on this page, all I have for sharing is eight. Everything else is zero, all right? Just so you can't really see it too much. Um, I can always go back here to the event. Um, event, I can always go back to the event. Um, to, to, let me extend this. And I click on edit, all right? You see, as I'm on the event, I'm gonna go back and change the color of the button to something you guys probably can see better because this one is not doing it for me. Uh, let me put this color here and see if that will do it. All right, and then I'm going to hit submit. All right, and for the most, the software was sometimes pretty smart. It, it will go ahead and um and and do the refresh. If it doesn't, I can always go back. And then you see right now, since I make a change, uh, let me go back here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click refresh event, refresh event. When I click refresh event, look what happened. 
um, it should change the color of the key because I just change it in the system. All right. So things take a little bit longer tonight than usual to download. I don't know why. All right, we're waiting on it, waiting on it, waiting on it. It's moving, it's moving. Let's download the setting. Because I just make a change in the setting, so I'm refreshing it so it can it can get going. So I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi that's acting slow. I don't know what it is. Usually it doesn't take that long to refresh. setting there you go you see you see the color of the button change so i go back here setting make sure everything is good you see everything is good um as before everything is good here everything in my camera um auto exposure um i don't know why i don't have ultra right in this phone but okay i already explained that so next now you see as i refresh i lost my effect so I'm going to add my hyper zoom again, hyper zoom, and I'm going to click done and I don't want it to add the whole video. So I move it halfway and I'm going to click on push draw. I'm going to my folders here and add it quick. One, two, three, choose, and then that's it. And then everything else, that's TV session because I'm about to do a TV session. All right, motion trigger, I don't use timeout. Um, survey, I remove it from 10, I put zero, all right? I leave everything at zero except sharing time. I, I leave it at eight second. Um, web server, that's for the skin pick. So we'll get to that another time, not today, okay? That's gonna be another session. So now you see, go back to where we started. So now this is ready to go. So let's go ahead and record something. Okay, I click, I click slow-mo. Okay, you see, now it's recording. It give you a countdown, now it's recording, it's recording, it's recording, it's recording. So now when the recording is over, it goes to the process. You see, it tell you everything. So I'm going to, um, right now you're not getting the TV splash, so I'm going to link it with the TV. So you can see what it does. After this one, the next one, we're going to do that. We see right now it's applying the filter, moving pretty fast. Applying the filter. All right, it's putting the outro, which is my, my little, um, um, logo animation with my information in case people want to book me and you see on the top it said um stop processing and restart let's say if you feel like there was an error you can stop it before it's complete all right you can always do that to so finish you see now it show everything right here on the screen so now let's say right now i'm on the screen and then i want to share with somebody because i don't i don't even activate my sharing station yet but i can show you quick you click on text message, you put the number, you click send. As long as you're online, it will send it. Now, if you're not online, it will just stay in the queue. And whenever you connect to Wi-Fi, it will process it for you. That's one way. The other way, you can just select on the barcode. You see it say uploading file is creating the barcode for you. But we're not going to sit here and wait for it. But whenever the barcode pop up on the screen, you can have the person scan it right there. All right. So next, the next option is, is um, airdrop. You click right here and you click airdrop. If the person has an iPhone, you see as right now, it says MacBook. I can just select MacBook, my computer. It pop up on my screen and I accept it and done. All right. So this is how you can share. And then again, even if you lost that screen and you go back right here, now you can always click on gallery on the top right and everything you recorded will be right here. All right. So let me do a little um, um, screen splash so you see what i do i put i slide my finger on the top right of the phone and then mirror right here i click this one right here my apple tv come up i rename it 
So it's come right here. So now I select it, it should show right here. Let me select this because you have to stop the other one first. Perfect. Now you see, you see how my barcode show on the bottom? Because I turn everything from the TV session on. So you see now, look what's gonna happen with my screen. Look, look how fancy, how cool that is. Yeah, right? so it's countdown, you see, boom. For whatever reason, it doesn't show on my screen. I don't know why. Oh, because it's shared with the TV. Oh, sorry. It shared with the, um, it was still showing on the thing. Let me stop this. Let's let's do this over, all right? We're going to do this over. I'm going to mirror it again. It's already mirror. Okay, let's start this again. I want you to be able to see the whole animation here. Why it's not coming up? Come on. It's showing on the background somewhere, but it's gray out. Cause I think I know what it is. It's the T. Uh, the my computer is picking it up. Uh, is my computer still sharing with this? That's why. I was trying to make sure you can see everything from the screen. I think I need to stop this. It's already stopped, but why it's not coming up? There you go. Okay, let's go back to touch big. I show everything is linked with the screen, but it's not showing the little animation. It's recording right now, it's recording, it's recording. <laughs> making the adjustment okay let me try to mirror it again okay let's try that again okay something is not going right tonight so I go back to my setting. I'm gonna go back to TV and check to see, check my TV um, section. Everything is on, so it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay, for whatever reason, it's not pick it up, but okay, let me see. I think now it's gonna work, there you go. All right, so what I did, I went back and refreshed it. I went to the TV section, um, deselected and reselected again. So now here we go. All right, so now it's, it's doing its thing. It's doing exactly what we want it to be doing. All right, so let's wait for this one to be done. So I'll go ahead and start another session. All right, let's start another session. It's recording, it's recording, it's recording, it's recording. When it's done, it's gonna show. Um, it, sh it should show something different on the screen, but tonight it's not corporate with me. Let me see. Let me see here. I, I can go back to my setting um, and check to see if my um, screen flash is on. It is on. I go back next, 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 um, TV session, live view, live view is on. Um, we're not gonna do the slideshow, animation is on. Everything is from here, thank you screen. We're gonna go back, let's try this again. There you go, that's what I needed. You see? you everything here you see it's recording whenever you read you using TV that's exactly how it should work all right I don't know what was going on with it but it was acting up all right so it's going to the whole that's how you get the whole animation and everything all right so the way you see it, th th those are the type of things sometimes you can work into 
when you have little issue, you just have to know how to troubleshoot it. All I have to do, go back and then deselect everything and reselect it again. So now it start working, you know, like sometimes little glitch like that you can have. And it's not a major problem. You just have to know. But if you're under pressure, you won't be able to do it. You see, it's telling you everything is doing. Instead of telling me on the phone screen, it's telling me everything on the TV because I'm getting the whole um, screen flash and animation and everything. All right. So that's pretty much how you do it. All right, so that's going well so far. That's going well, that's going perfect. Are right, you see, when it's complete, that's what you get. All right, so that's that's what the person see and everything. All right, so they, they love things like this. They love things like this. It go to the process. Now it's doing the sharing. Okay, remember the eight second that I post for the sharing station, that's what it's doing right now. So after the eight second, it should go ahead and back to a normal screen, so it'll give you option to start the next um, session. You see, but that's my outro, you see? Everything here is showing, and and it probably won't say no thank you because I turn off the, the thing. And then you see, it showed the code in the bottom. So now, let's say right now, if I had another phone, I could have just pulled up my phone camera, and then I go here and scan this, is I would be able to get my video, okay? So I can show you right here. All right, so you see I can pull up my iPad right here and put it right in front of it and scan it. You see, it's already come up here, but I missed it. There you go. I click right here. Uh, with the new update, you have to exactly click on the link. All right, you see right here, everything come right here. I scan it. So I scan the barcode from the TV. Now nah, look. Look what happened, all right? So now I can download it, save it, and do whatever I need with it, okay? So now the next step, I wanna show you guys how to do a sharing station, all right? So this video will go a little bit longer than expected, but it's okay. So um, you can always skip to it to get to the the main part, okay? So now we about I'm about to show you how to activate your sharing station and how to do online sharing or, you know, sync two funds together, all right? So now let's get to it quick. Let me turn this back on. So I want to show you the, the computer. All right, let's get back to the computer and I'm going to get back to this part right here. All right, so let's go ahead and show you the screen of this iPad right here. All right, there you go. So now that's the iPad in my head right now. So before I was using you the phone, which is with the with the thing already activate the event so now we on the we on the um ipad so that would be our sharing station now touch pick come with this new things now instead of activate the event twice or duplicate the event you can just do a sharing station all right and then when you have the sharing station on and then it will ask you to scan the barcode again so i'm going to look for my barcode right here where is it uh, where is it barcode right here so i scan my barcode perfect all right so i scan my barcode again we'll always remember when you're scanning your barcode you have to make sure you have internet service on that device because the barcode right you see right now same thing for the same setting for this one always make sure you turn on the the display and brightness so i can show you from this device better i go to my setting all right display and brightness, you know, auto lock. Always make sure, cause right, I think cause I plug on the uh, on the thing, cause usually this doesn't do that. Okay, but auto lock, you select it and then you click on never. All right, perfect. So let's get back to business, cause we're running out of time. So now that's my sharing station. So this is how you activate your sharing station. There's two ways you can activate your sharing station. You go to gallery on the top right. And then that little option that say online sync, you click on online sync. It say all good, all the file, and then you click OK. Look, look at this. You see how fast it's moving? The two things I download are already downloaded here. So like, let me show you. Let me record another one. I'm recording another one right now. I'm recording another one right now. And then look at the sharing station screen. It's recording, 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 recording. <laughs> recording 
Are we waiting? All right, it's already processing. We're waiting on it. Okay, it's, it's doing the process. You see, my online is activate, right? And I already have two things there that I already recorded, all right, from earlier. So whenever you turn in your sharing station, everything will download. So now it's doing the process. You see both device right now. Sharing station is here in my hand. And then um, the phone that I recorded right here. Okay, it's adding the audio right now. I'm waiting on it. Now it's complete. So I click next. So now I'm waiting for it to load in my sharing station. And then with the sharing station, a lot of time it, on the tab where it says pending download, you see it says zero. Whenever it's ready to load, you're probably going to see a one pop up. There you go. It's already pop up. Now it drop. Perfect. So now you can just click on it. All right. You can either play or you click on email um text message um the 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 barcode and then um the airdrop and then even the whatsapp is right here the button that you put the person whatsapp number and you you text it okay you see that's the hyper zoom that's how you do the um sharing station now there's another way to do sharing station all right let's say let's say right now you want to refresh this actually that's another thing i need to show you but again, with whatever you're using as your sharing station, it's required for you to have Wi-Fi or um, data on it. Because if you don't, you won't be able to, you can only airdrop, but you won't be able to send no text message. But again, if you don't have no internet, it's okay. Whatever you send is set, sit in the queue. Just don't close the event till you get home, you connect to the internet and everything go, everything process, all right? So let's say for whatever reason right now, I want to refresh this event. You can just click on online sync. And then you click on it again that's how you refresh okay then if there was anything pending it will start download all right so let me show you the other up the other way because we have to go all right so i turn that off all right i turn that off let's say you see i exit i'm on this screen right here so now i'm going to show you another way to activate sharing station so what you do you click on gallery again where it said the s on the top left you click on it and then that will be my receiver. The, the sharing station always the receiver. So I click on receiver. Now it switched to a, you see the S switch to a R. Now I'm going to, on this phone right now, which is the one I'm recording with, the one I'm recording, all right? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click gallery. I'm going to click the S. And then now I'm going, it's going to be my sender. I click sender and I show my ipad name you see explain 360 master i call it master i name it just for those purpose all right so now you see everything turned green it turned green right here you see the s turned green and then look the ipad turned green too so now they all connected all right they all connected now they connected device to device so now on the phone that i'm recording it's okay i can go ahead and click the um click the x you see, now I go back to the normal screen, but look at the one that's the sharing station. I don't have the X on the top. I will show you how to deactivate it in a moment. But let's go ahead and record something first. So I'm recording something right now. Okay, that's the phone I'm recording. That's when you're using iPhone to record and an iPad as your sharing station, okay? So it's doing it's, doing its thing right now. Okay, it's adding the slow mo, it's processing. Look at my sharing station in my hand. You see the R is green. Always keep your eyes on the R, make sure it's green. If it's not green, that's when you're not online or you're not connected. You're not connected to the to the uh sender. You see it now it's applying the overlay. I'm waiting on it, it's processing, it's adding my outro. You see, that's one of the reasons too. You you need to avoid using too many filters because if you use a lot of filter, you can create problem. You see, it's already complete. All right. So now I'm waiting on it to show on my um um sharing device. So now you see, I have three items right now, and then um my receiver is on. It's active. As you can see, it's green. I'm waiting for it to pop up on my sharing station. 
there you go it's already pop up now you see i have four so that those are the the two ways you can do now let's say we're ready to deactivate deactivate this way this way what you do you click on the r and then it will say disable sharing station you see now you have the x on the top now you click the x now you see i have a normal screen so now you can go back if you want to go back to it again you just have to repeat the process or you can just click online then you just do online right now you see those are the two ways you can do now let's say it's time right now the event is over all right it's over everything process your internet service was good now you get home you know you're chilling whatever you put your legs up you're ready to turn off you click on online to turn it off first and then you click on the x now you're right here you click on the top left on the menu you see exit sharing session you click exit you exit boom you're done so now let's get let's get back to the to the phone that was recording that was recording the phone that was recording we're going to we're going to close that event as well all right we're going to close that event as well so now let's say you on this screen right here all right now with the, the event is over every, everything already processed you click on the top left now you click on close event now when you click on close event remember what i said the same way you start your event that's how you close it you always need this barcode now you click on the barcode now you see the front flash green now you see on the middle of the screen let me extend that for you in the middle of the screen it say done okay when you have that done you have continue you press continue now if there was no more thing that need to be downloaded it will not show done it will show you like a countdown account like a, a, a percentage going up and then when it's get to 100 now it will let you close it and if you had anything in the queue it will not, not let you close it you see that's how you close the event and everything so now let me show you this let's get back to um to this quick all right let's get back to this quick so now the event is over look what's gonna happen you see this barcode i'm about to lose it right now just because the event is closed it's finished now let's say you go to event now look it say finish you see the status say finish now look my qr code um uh, if i click right here it's not gonna show me a qr code anymore it shouldn't click you see there's no more qr code like let's say if i had more than one device that was open with the same event now i will be messed up i will not be able to close this event the only way you can close it is delete the app and reinstall it again or if you took a picture of it somewhere you can just scan that picture you see that's the beauty of taking picture now you see right here on the same section here it's a gallery you can click on gallery everything we recorded will be right here all right you see everything we recorded will be right here all right so now you see i have my logo on the top and then you have the public url so if i go ahead and click on this i click on the public url and it's open all the videos right here and i can just copy this link and send it to my client and then problem solved did i miss anything i don't think i miss anything now there's another trick i want to show you guys quick before we close this session all right so let's say right now you are ready for another event this is a trick all right now let's say you right now you're ready for another event all right this event is done it's completed um now even though now you're ready for another event all you have to do guys if you're ready for another event all right let me zoom this for you a little bit if you're ready for another event one of the event that you got completed already all you have to do click on the setting and you see the middle folder it says duplicate you click on it it will duplicate the event for you it the same event is duplicated for you all you have to do now is change the name but this one i'm gonna call it joe party that's somebody else party you see i rename it i hit submit when i hit submit now it go right here but we don't want to design it yet because we're not done yet so uh, there's a few things you need to remember to change because remember that's a new event all you have to do you go back to event now you have joe event that's a new brand new event right you click right here you click on the edit and then now you have every setting is the same except the name is different the one thing you have to remember to do always go back to the audio and delete the old audio from the previous event because you will duplicate somebody else event now you have to add the new audio for this event always remember to do that but everything else will be the same and then all you do you submit now you go to designer 
when you go to designer you just do everything as before as bring you again and then you go ahead you select your template all right i already show you guys how to do that you select whatever template and then you go to um, upload and you upload the new overlay for this new party okay so that can save you a lot of time so you don't have to keep going back and forth and um and and select new um what you call it you see right now this is not transparent if i do this right now look i don't see my middleman that's not transparent but it is transparent there's another way to do it that's gonna be another session once again thank you guys thank you thank you so much um this video wasn't supposed to be that long but unfortunately um there's a lot of things we had to do um to get everything um going for you but i i'm glad i was able to cover everything um again um my name is wally please remember to follow and um and subscribe to our channel that way we can always come back here and um put you know beautiful video for you that way um you can improve your knowledge a little bit more so once again it was a pleasure um thank you again for tuning um we'll go ahead and talk to you again another time thank you bye bye